Hello? I can speak to Terry Emmers. Who's this? Hi, this is Heidi Kastenberg, Minnesota Department of Agriculture. Oh, yes. Yeah, I called you last week uh, asking you about uh, whether you used um, dash cam videos or um, personal audio recorders for your investigations. Uh, no, we don't. You don't? Nope. Don't use it for either one? Nope. Well, isn't it a state law if you take a statement from a, a suspect that's supposed to be audio recorded? Mm, I don't believe so, no. Oh, geez. Um, seems to me I have documentation to the contrary. And that must be why I have all the uh, statements from the police that are recorded. So what was your what was your job title again? I'm the director of the Dairy and Food Inspection Division. Okay. So do you have a policy for audio recorders at all? Uh, we have a policy for photographs. Photographs, but not for audio recorders? Right. We generally don't do audio recording. Okay. Well, so if you work with a law enforcement agency, do you get their dash cam video or their audio recorders? Well, because I'm aware of a, a case of Michael Hartman, a mm -hmm. raw milk farmer who uh, was uh, illegally searched and that uh, dash cam video was used at a trial. Of course, uh, I'd like to get that, but it's being illegally held by the state patrol, so, you know, I presume that, you know, that you're not telling me the truth here about either, you know, situation, whether you use personal audio recorders or your use of other law enforcement agencies recording electronic data. We have a, uh, that case is being tried by the Sibley County Attorney. Right, I uh, do believe that one of your uh, agents is involved. He did a search of the vehicle. Actually, that was the state patrol that did the search. Yep, and that, well, that uh, part uh, is, uh, I, that actually, was... I have the police report and your agent is mentioned so and i've watched the the uh news on it and the judge ruled that it was illegal search obviously the that's why the the case was dropped see so that's what i'm getting at apparently you know there wasn't uh, people's rights were being violated not following proper procedures so you know uh, right now i have a hard time believing that you don't do audio recordings to start with. Can you see my problem here? Actually, it's your. Um, actually, no. I'm not sure what your problem is. Well, uh, actually, I should have said it's your problem. Your problem of credibility right now, because I don't believe what you're telling me. Okay, that's your. You're, you're a citizen. That's your. You're right, I guess. Well, uh, I'm a well-informed individual. Who, who's well aware that uh, police are trained and professional liars or law enforcement, which according to, you know, which of course you are a form of law enforcement. So, you know, mm, not really. Well, we, what, we, we don't, inf no, we don't, we're well, not considered law enforcement. Well, whatever. How, however you want to describe yourself, I consider you law enforcement because you're enforcing. What's your, what's your purpose in this? What's my yes, purpose? I'm not, I'm well, my purpose is to find out what's actually going on. I mean, you're paid public funds, you know, and so I'm trying to find out what you're doing with those public funds. You know, if you're you're uh, furthering justice or you're creating injustice, and I already showed you an example, you know, of Michael Hartman, you know, that dash cam video is being illegally withheld from you, which of course is a criminal act. I don't have the idea. I, I didn't say I didn't say that you I didn't say that you did see but I am used to people who are in law enforcement lying to me I have documented them committing criminal acts that's why they don't want to give me public information so again that's why uh, I have a hard time believing what you're telling me is true see so that's the thing I I, I have gathered the evidence I've made a logical conclusion you know so there I, I am extremely skeptical when I speak to people okay. like you do that, you, under, that, you understand that's, that? your, that's you know if that's your experience I guess I can't I can't I, I don't I can't you know I don't know what I can do to, to persuade you otherwise but um, we don't take we don't have dash cam 
because we don't have the, I don't know, I think it's the person we got in PR where certain, I don't know, was it Louisiana or New Orleans and a couple of other big city cops are now having that sort of, some sort of video camera that they're having all the time. We don't have that. We don't have that technology. Well, it's actually, I think you're, I'm talking, to, well, if you want to use an example of the police, then Minneapolis police are going to get personal uh, video cameras, which will not be allowed to be uh, tampered with, because apparently the police have a history of tampering with evidence. Anyhow, uh, the you point... You we don't have that technology. We don't, um, that's not something we're going to, you know, be going towards anytime soon, I don't believe either. Okay, well, what I would like to get then is your policy and procedure on these uh, pictures, seeing so you claim that's your only evidence that you gain. But what you uh, could do, you know what, uh, what would be best is to send a data request. Well, actually, I'm submitting a data request to you right now because okay. pursuant yeah, to we, any of those has to be done in writing. Well, actually, pursuant to the law, see now you're you're already caught in another lie because <laughs> there's no law that requires me to submit anything in writing. In fact, I don't even have to identify myself to you. All I have to do is give you contact information, which I'm going to do right now. I will give you my email address, which is, I'm going to say it first, then I will spell it for you. Can you send the email request? That's what we, that's our, what our procedure is. We have you send a, a request in writing. That's what we have for all of our any of our legal claims, etc. So if you could send a request in writing. Well, actually, I'm going to give you my email address, like I told you before, because I'm well aware what the data practice laws are, and there is no requirement that I put anything in writing. All I need to do is communicate it to you, which I'm doing right now. So my email address is lionnews00 at... I have no idea. How do you even spell lionnews? Okay. Is it L-Y? Uh, is it L-I? Okay, I already explained it to you before you interrupted me that I will first tell you what my email address is. Tell me, tell you the name of my email address, and then I will spell it for you. Okay. See? I'm gonna actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get your number, which I have, and what I'm gonna do is have our legal counsel contact you. Well, actually, I am speaking to you now. You will take my email address because I am recording the call right now, so I would be happy for your uh, legal counsel to call me after I've recorded the call and I don't get my information, and then, then they can explain it to me on my recording why you aren't following the law. That's real simple. See? So I will give you my email address, which is L-I-O-N-N-E-W-S-0-0 at gmail. Dot com. So you can read that back to me now so I can confirm the fact that you wrote it down. L-I-N-N? L-I-O-N-N-E-W-S-0-0 at gmail.com. L-I-O-N-N-E-W-S-0-0 at gmail.com. L-I-O-N-N-E-W-S-0-0 at gmail.com. Okay. All right. So I will expect that uh, information to be showing up in my email uh, box here relatively soon. What, what specifically was that request? Because well, that's why we generally want it in writing. Well, I already explained it to you. If you want, I can email your legal counsel my recording. I have absolutely no problem doing that either. So he can listen to it or she can listen to it and see that I already told you that I want your policy on pictures. And apparently you have a policy of dealing with outside law enforcement agencies to gather their uh, electronic data for uh, prosecution. So I will need a policy can you, on that. Can you spell your name? Because I, it was very unclear from your it's voicemail. Nemers, N as in Nancy, E. Amazon Mary, Amazon Mary, E R S. And the first name is Terry. T is in Tom, E R R Y. Okay, so this is why we have problems with. I thought it was it Terry 
Terry or Terry? I couldn't see the T or the P. It's a T as in Tom. Okay. So now you have your mission. You can seek out my electronic data and email it to me. And uh, what was the name of your legal counsel? Because I'd like to discuss um, these uh, little fairy tales you're telling me with that individual. My, our legal counsel is Douglas Spanier. Okay, you can put his contact information in my email and send that off to me also. All right. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Bye. Yeah, bye.